What's up guys? Me and Dylan are on our way to Vermont to pick up my Subaru because once again I decided to go and do something that wasn't so intelligent. Well it is because I normally I end up making a little money but I bought an 08 F-150 and another 06 Prius to um, fix and sell. Um, got the Prius done this weekend. All I needed was uh, front brakes, struts, the two front ones and uh, inspection and it's good to go. The truck we're gonna do some body work on, the box sides need to be done, so we'll do a video on how to do that. And it needs rear brakes, and then we can get it inspected, it'll be ready to go. But we're on the ferry, Dylan's, Dylan's giving me a ride back to, uh, well, he's making me drive. Yeah. But we're going back to get the old ghetto blaster, bring it back to New York so I can take it back to work tomorrow. Um, a little bit of orchestrating this weekend in order to get the Prius home, the F-150 home, and now my ghetto blaster home. So that's what we're doing today. Are we gonna get some shit to eat when we're over there? Hopefully. <laughs> fucking starving. What are we gonna eat? I don't know. I don't know either. I'm gonna figure it out. Yeah. But uh, update on the Camaro too. It's just about ready to go. We um, it's all back together. The weather's getting nice, so I'll be actually do a real introduction to the Camaro finally. Be able to start doing some of the heavier modifications like the exhaust and the headers and stuff, which you know will be fun. I'm trying to get this jug of piss to buy some more stuff for the Subaru. <laughs> yeah. For his Subaru, yeah. not the ghetto blaster. That's I mean pointless. That would be pointless. <laughs> Although in the last couple months, we've done two of the Ghetto Blaster, the Fox Racing Rally Mud Flaps. Oh, God. We built the um, scrap exhaust parts, custom exhaust, and um, I did put blue dash lights underneath the dash. Oh, God. You know? Oh, and we chameleon painted the center console and the radial bezel. That's genius. It is. I have to do something to entertain it. Ooh, the little tree's moving. So yeah, that's that. Um, Dylan's not hitting up Tinder right now. <laughs> I haven't been on that in a while. We got the Super Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah. Blueberry French vanilla. That's some good shit. Coffee colada. It's tasty. Just a side note, I've been really anticipating this. Um, grudge match race between uh, online car show and bubble blue online car show has got a red uh, one LE Camaro and bubble blue's got a 2011 I believe 2012 um, Mustang GT with Coyote 50 in it so that should be a pretty good race so uh, I like bubble blue he's an awesome youtuber you should check out his channel he's a funny guy um, but being part of the Camaro community, I have to put my vote out for the one LE to win because it would just be wrong for me to root for the Mustang, you know? Yep. Well, you'd be pissed off if it lost, right? What, if I was rooting for the Mustang? Well, I mean, you could root for it, but if it wins... Well, yeah, it would kind of be like a kick in the balls for the Camaro community. Yeah. They posted up the, um, I think in reality they've actually already raced, because um, I noticed that online car show today, he posted a video of the preparations that he did to the Camaro before the race. He did a little bit of weight reduction, he pulled his back seat out, yeah. and um, the air compressor, because you know, go Chevy, they don't give us a spare tire, they give us an air compressor and it can't fix a flat. <laughs> like, that's handy if you pull the tire off the wheel yeah. of the interstate or something. Yeah. Don't worry, I got my fix the flat in my air compressor. Yeah. Well, you know. That's what they're saying. Apparently they got a lot going into them tires. You know? <laughs> well, mine doesn't have the original wheels and tires on anymore, so nope. there's that. But uh, I'm in a heavy debate on whether I actually want to sell factory wheels and tires out the Camaro because the tires are still really good like they're new Pirelli P0s mm -hmm. that came on it but um I'm the wheels are a little well you saw them they're a little rough yeah they were paint 
kind of starting to peel off them because I don't yeah. know why. But I think that that's a common problem with that smoky finish. Like yeah. the because my original wheels on my clips were a similar finish to that, and they started to do the same thing mm -hmm. inside the spokes. Mm -hmm. I think it's just from like road debris hitting them and stuff. It chips the coating. Salt. Yeah. And the shit on the road. Well, the, well, the Camaro and the Eclipse. Cubs definitely didn't see salt. No. I don't think. The, well, yeah, it never was on the road well, or nothing. So I don't think the Camaro did either because it's like super clean underneath. But um, it's just, which was part of the reason I got that one over all the other ones that I looked at. But yeah, who's this guy? Look at this tool. He is definitely a tool. Definitely. He thinks he's cool too. Look at him walk. Yeah, look at him. Look how was, he's walking. Yeah, I know he's twitching his little butt. Mm. He's kind of a Q-tip. I didn't go that far, but... He's cute. Mm. You think he's a Philly fellow? <laughs> something. Oh, you gotta love it. Dude, we're not even halfway across this stupid lake yet. I know. The best time to get stuck on the ferry is when there's, um... Problems on the ferry? No, when there's an ambulance, because they kick this thing in high gear to get to the hospital in the Vermont side. I know, right? That's a great time. It's like, dang. Too bad there wasn't someone hurt. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's fucked up to say. Like, oh, well, someone got hurt. Thank God, we'll be over there. <laughs> we better keep this thing in high gear. You got my tuner quick crate swagger on today, brother. I don't know. It's nice. I just changed I my... I just wanted the air freshener you got, that's all. Yeah. I just changed my tuner crate subscription from um, medium to large because I'm getting fat. <laughs> And I switched my interest from tuner to muscle, so I should be getting some oh, muscle geez. car swagger now. Yeah. Because, you know, I changed teams there. You're going to switch up. Switch up. Switch hitter. Hey, you know, I just did the, like I said earlier, I did the import thing for so long, I needed a change. Yeah. And I think I did, I think I made a good choice on my part, because I'm getting way too old for big wings and neon lights. <laughs> yeah, I don't have a big wing or... You know, no, you got a little lip and LED lights under yeah. here. But the Camaro has gun. I got bright lights, lights, but it's not LED. I yeah. mean, they're LED, I guess. Well, my Camaro came. The Camaro comes stock because of the 2SS package with um, HIDs and the headlights. But I upgraded the running lights mm -hmm. into um, LED, and I bought the harness adapter to turn my running lights into actual fog lights. Oh, nice. Yeah. And there was another guy I watched on here all the time. His name's Camaro Time. I did, uh, he did the skip shift eliminator, which is a wiring harness, even because with the standards, if you're being easy on the car and going, it wants you to skip gears. Like, it wants you to go from, like, I don't really know how it works. I never noticed it because I didn't drive the car that much before I put it away, but it'll ask you to go from, like, first to, like, fourth. Hmm. It'll actually, it'll lock you out of the other gears. So I bought the harness because I saw he bought it, so I copied him. Um, poser, right? Poser. Yeah, because I don't want to deal with that either. So I have to put that in too. People are going to be commenting. That's all right. My car is a total ripoff of another guy I watch on here, Nasty 2SS. Talking about, I'm my own person. Well, there's only so much you can do with a black Camaro before you start There's a lot you can do to a Camaro. There's a lot you can do to any car. There's so much shit you can buy for your own car. It's unbelievable. I know, I know. I, I just I want, I wanted that blackout murder. There look. is a limit, but eventually, but there's a lot to go through before you get to that limit. Yeah. Trust me. I'll be searching online all oh. day. I spent way too much money, though, this winter on the Camaro. Yeah, you ain't bought me nothing. <laughs> what a dick. It's, it's coming, don't worry. I've been... Oh yeah, you want to see something depressing? Look at this. <laughs> Going. Going bye bye. <laughs> this is what I owe the dealership I work for for the Prius and the F-150 that I just bought from them. I have to pay them when I go get my Subaru also. Ah! Like, I should be able to keep this, but I, I gotta keep the rotation going, so I suppose I should probably pay for them because you know, they are Russian and we know what they do when they get angry. Yeah, but, chop your nuts off. <laughs> yeah, there's that. But anyway, you guys. You fuck me, I fuck you. 
that's basically what happens. But they don't, yeah. I'll stay on their good side because they pay me pretty well. And, good idea. And they, like, feed me these cars. And don't get me wrong, like, they do sell me these cars cheap. So that way I can make a profit. And that's part of the fringe benefits of working for these guys. So it makes it all come back full circle, you know? Yeah. Maybe someday I will have a kidney-shaped swimming pool like they do. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, and a $200,000 Tesla SUV with gullwing doors that drives itself with my iPhone. That's fucking dope. It's really not. That's awesome. I don't know. There's That's a certain, so cool. There's a certain point when technology sucks. That's so cool. Like, you, you can be in that car and it'll drive for you. Yeah. And he, then you he don't have, have to do nothing. You can hit a button and it says summon and the car will, like, back itself out of the garage. I know. That's, That's fucking awesome. No, like, where is the limit? Like, we've gone way overboard. Like, who wants a car where it's like, oh, I'm tired. I don't feel like driving. Let me push a button. Well, technically, Here, with look, Tesla, look, your car oh, don't exist. Oh, autopilot. Night. <laughs> That's awesome. It's not. Yes, it is. It is. It's not, yeah, until the thing drops. But it has a, no, it has a sensor on it. Every a certain amount, um, it'll start beeping, and if you don't respond, um, the car will slow down to a stop. I know, but like, what if you're just like, oh, here, let's go, and then you're not paying attention. And there's like a construction zone where they're putting in like a traffic circle or something that the car doesn't know about yet. It's like fucking see ya. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just saying. That'd be pretty fucking cool to have. It would be. You know? But I'm happy with like old school power, switch the gears myself, do big burnouts and donuts. Which, by the way, I have to say, Dylan Subaru does awesome cyclones in the snow. We totally should have videotaped that yeah. in the last snowstorm. Yeah. Fucking, fucking, fucking I did not expect it. No, he was like, I don't think my car is gonna do a donut. I was like, it's gonna do repeated donuts. All-wheel drive cyclones, baby. That's what it's about. But anyway, this was just a random stupid upload to let you guys know I was still breathing. We have a couple quick shout-outs there. Quick little update. Uh, my camera's about to die, and we're getting off the ferry. So, thank God. peace out, YouTube. Thank you. Make sure you hit that red button. Remember, Dylan? Hit that thumbs up. That's right. And, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more. The weather's getting nice. My next video I'm anticipating will be about the Camaro. So, thank you guys. Have a good Sunday evening. <laughs> My camera won't shut up. <laughs>